Katie Stazak here. Coming up next week at Gulfstream Park, we return to racing on Wednesday with a brand new post time of 1 o'clock p.m. We will have that post time on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. But on the weekends, we're going to have a new post time as well. That'll be 12.30. So make sure you adjust your calendars. On Wednesday, we have a 10 race card. And I really like the looks of things in the ninth race. It's a mile and a 3 16th turf allowance for older fillies and mares. Always have to watch Chad Brown on the turf with his fillies and mares, especially and he has Rubindi in this race, who was second in an allowance here on December 26th to a filly that I like a lot in Principessa Ava. I think she can improve off of that effort. Also have to look at Magic of Reality, a French bred filly from the Graham Motion Barn. She was fourth in the grade three My Charmer stakes over at Gulfstream Park West in November. But I really, really liked what she showed in her debut. She was only beaten a half length at Keeneland in October. This will be just her third start in America. And I think she can run similar to that first race, more so than the second start in the stakes last time out, especially over the firmer going of this turf course here at Gulfstream. Then, of course, later on in the week, we're going to have the Hurricane Birdie Stakes. It was won by Groupie Doll last year in the very last race of her career. It was a really special moment, and that race will always have a special place in my heart for that reason. So that's what to look forward to at the end of the week there on Saturday. Of course, we have all of our great wagers, exotics, rainbow six, late pick four, pick five, and more great racing. You got to be at Gulfstream for it all. See you here.